All right, another uh, instructable here for the Nixie Clock. This is a final prototype. Something to note is that this prototype does not have the on and off switch. I'll show in a demo where you put that, but here it is rolling. So as you can see, it's uh, I've plugged it in a little bit wrong, but this is minutes, hours, seconds, and I just happened to plug the hours in in the wrong spot, but it is working. Um, and this platform or this thing that I've got here is a prototype for my case on this clock that I'm gonna make. I'm gonna get it mirrored aluminum. Or I'm gonna you know polish it up. But uh, so anyways, you've got your um, power supply coming up and for the last step you know you've got uh you've got to make another split off this cable so you know you've got these multiple female ends i've had to split another one off so you can see right here i've got a second female head split off into the step up chip and then i've also got my original splice um you've got the step up chip wires coming up and out and i've got it going into the ground um, row. Then I've got my positive coming off the step up chip right here, as you can see, right here, this wire. And it's coming into this bit right here. And I've added a potentiometer or a variable resistor between these two wires right here. And I was going to try and have it dim or brighten the uh, tubes in it. Sort of works, but, and this was off the cuff, but if you increase your resistance too much, you can see there it begins to degrade or decay off your numbers. If I turn it all the way up, I mean, like here on this three, you can see that it is obviously, like there's a four, you know, and the top of the four is not there, but if you were to turn that resistor all the way back down to no resistance, you can see the four light up. So a little too much resistance there, but... Um, so yeah, on that right hand side, I've got all my 175 volt high stuff in. On this side over here, I've got all of my uh, ground. And in the middle here, I've got my 5 volt and ground logic for all of the shift registers. I've got my DS1307 back here running with the bat. Well, this one doesn't have a battery, but yours is going to have a battery in it. I'll put one in mine as well. And so then, looking at the inside of the clock carefully, this is just a quick prototype that I, you know, push together and get some more light in there. There we go. So here's the back of those chips. And you can see over here I've got my high voltage off each chip. One, the, the red and black wire coming down into either side of my, you know, prototype. Then I've got my data wires, the yellow, blue, and green one. And then a red and a black one for my 5 volt logic. And then you can see where I've got standoffs. Hold them up. And I've got you know three different sets of the circuitry coming in to the housing. Let's put this back down. Woo! See, guys? You see? Got to be careful. Well, and I believe the clock is still running. Woo! I don't know if you heard the sparks or not, but I definitely just about fried something there. Not good stuff. But that is the final working prototype. And whenever you get your, um, the actual, when you want to put your on-off switch on this thing, you can, you, you can run it in two different ways. You can run it in a way to where, um, you know, you run between the actual power supply. So when you turn the switch on and off, it cuts the entire Adreno off as with the, um, with the tubes, but you can run it the way I run it, whereas I wire the switch between the step-up chip right here, this wire, and um, the tubes. That way, your um, your tubes turn off, but the Adreno keeps running, and that saves the battery life on your DS1307, so you don't have to 
um, you know, you don't have to change that battery out or worry about losing time. I also originally designed this for an older gentleman who was does not know how to code, so I wanted it to build a whole time for as long. I wanted to have like a seven year lifespan. But anyways, there it is, final testing prototype. When I get this mirror finish and all that, I'll make another video for my final clock on this one.